Why do we work hard to solve small problems? Why do we reinvent ourselves and our clients over and over? And why are we giving away marketing strategy for free? It's time to bring home bigger paychecks. It's time to create the lifestyle we deserve and to make a greater impact. This is the Fractional CMO Show, and I'm Casey Stanton. Join me as we explore this growing industry and learn to solve bigger problems. Hey, marketer, welcome back. In this episode, we're going to talk about the difference between marketing strategy and marketing tactics. Now, what is the difference? I mean, you could look up the the definition, but here's really what it is, right? Strategy is why you're doing what you're doing, and tactics is how you're doing what you're doing. That's the major difference. And all too often, when I hear marketers talk, they always dive into tactics. Tactics are the interesting thing. Tactics are the exciting thing, right? It's the thing that gives us the dopamine. And we're like, ooh, have you thought about doing a direct mail campaign with this, with that, doing this thing, and then putting a rubber chicken inside? <laughs> right? Like That's fun to talk about as a tactic, but it's not the strategy. And to, to get back to the strategy level in conversations, I like to ask the question of, what are you solving for? In my book, The Fractional CMO Method, which I got to say, it's a number one Wall Street Journal bestseller. If you haven't gotten a copy, you can pick it up on Amazon, or we've got a discount at our site at cmox.co slash book. You can grab The Fractional CMO Method there uh, and the audiobook and some other cool stuff. But the tactics are the the individual kind of hows, but it's it's the what are you solving for part that's the most interesting here. This is where you've got to be as the CMO, the fractional CMO. If someone starts talking about tactics, you scale back out and say, wait, 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 what are you solving for? What do you want? Because oftentimes people say stuff like, oh, there's an event coming up. We should be a sponsor. We should spend $50,000, $100,000, $300,000, $500,000 on a booth and travel and everything. And that's a tactic. So then your job as the fractional CMO is to scale back and be like, whoa, slow down. What are you solving for? What do you want? They're like, well, everyone's doing it. We got to go there too. Okay, so are you solving for optics, for branding? What about efficacy, like collecting leads? How many leads do you think we can get there? Well, how many badges can we scan? And then you do the math and you can scan 500 badges in three days. Okay, well, the cost is $100,000. Is it really worth that per badge scan? Maybe, maybe not. Depends on your niche. Right? It depends on your offer. If it's not, then you got to go back to the strategy and say, I get it. It does sound pretty cool to go to that event. Yeah, totally. And I don't know if that event is actually going to help us get us closer to our outcome goals. So let's talk about the strategy first, and then we'll talk about the tactics. With strategy, you create guardrails. Strategy says, how do I create 100 new customers and spend only $100 per customer to acquire them. And tactic is how you do it. But strategy is asking that question, and it's the quality of the question that you ask which determines the quality of the result. You must stay elevated. We've got two sayings at CMOX. We say, solve bigger problems and delegate everything except leadership. Solve bigger problems. What does that mean? That means it's your job to not get stuck in the tactic. Don't go and, and try to figure out what's the better vendor to use for a tactic without first understanding the larger strategy of what you're doing. You know, we've got uh, worksheets inside the accelerator all and processes all around like how do you take a major outcome for a client and break it down into um, kind of uh, constituent approachable parts and assign those and delegate it out. Like, what's the process for that, right? Once you have that strategy and you roll that down to people, then the tactics, man, I'll take any tactic. And what's fun about tactics is, as the fractional CMO, because you're not taking all of the income that a CMO would make, the businesses typically then have this additional budget to to do tactical stuff, which is super fun. And if you're with certain types of clients, you'll find yourself in a position to be able to hire the best of the best to do the tactic for you. Here's what I mean. Do you want to get on TikTok ads? Is that a good tactic for you for some reason? Is your audience on there? Is it interesting? Are you really good on all the other places? And you think TikTok's the next one to go? Whatever it is, right? Let's say you want to get on TikTok. You know, you've got like a couple options. One, you hire an agency to do it. Two, 
you hire a staff person or you assign a staff person to do it. Three, maybe you do it, right? Well, first of all, you can't do it because you're the CMO and that's not your job. Your job is to identify kind of the problem to solve and start working with smart people to get the problem solved. Two, you could hire someone in-house to do it. That's certainly a way to go. And you could go the agency route, right? But like, I don't like agencies that much because they often take a lot of the... They, they profit a lot on their clients. And I don't know if that's necessarily aligned in, in the right way that you would have like a, an employee, right? So if you bring in the best of the best TikTok consultant to come in, and they train your team, and they give you all their ideas and their processes and system, and you pay them whatever their rate is, you overnight built a TikTok arm inside of your organization that you have complete control over, that you're not giving a bunch of profit away to an agency who came and did the same thing, but then you know just staffed it for you. You're building the staff yourself. That's way more interesting to have this model of get the smartest people to come in, train your team on the tactic, and then have your team run the tactic. Occasionally, you have an agency run the tactic or whatever when it makes financial sense. But the idea here is that you're building the team and you're able to afford top talent to train the team. So you stay elevated, you solve bigger problems, and then you delegate everything except leadership. What's leadership? Leadership is what are the outcomes for the quarter? What are the outcomes for the sprint? What are you getting done? And you're just leading people down that path and they're answering it for you based on their expertise. As you start as a fractional CMO, your confidence might be a little low and you might surround yourself by, with a bunch of people who are like eager to work but like aren't very experienced. Let me tell you about this beautiful place that you can go to, this Eden as a fractional CMO. You can find yourself focused on just solving the biggest problem and then surrounding yourself with the smartest, hardest working, talented people in the industry. And you say, ooh, I think TikTok would be interesting. Let's call the TikTok guy. And you chat with him and he's like, yeah, I think we could do it this way, this way. I've got five other clients doing this other stuff. Can I come train your team? And you're like, yeah, can we do it next week? You just like gather so much momentum through that. And you're not um, focusing on the tactic, you're focusing on the strategy and you're letting the tactician focus on the tactic. Now, for me, I can think of tactics, right? I can think of SEO. I can think of PPC. And PPC is nuanced to like search versus socials versus, you know, whatever. Um, TV, uh, you know, that kind of stuff. You can think of other tactics like direct mail or um, outbound phone calls or you know, like cold calling or like cold email or like whatever the thing is, whatever the tactic is. I think of them as all as like potentially useful things to do, but they're not in and of themselves the strategy. They're merely a tactic. So when you work with a client, consider the difference between strategy and tactic. Ensure that you're staying in the role of the strategist. That's where you make the good money. And then you get the tactics done by the tacticians. And you can hire that in-house for your clients, or you can find experts and bring them in as consultants, or you can work with agencies, like whatever makes sense is the model for your client. But this is what's powerful. And I hope you're understanding that as a fractional CMO, you do not have to be the person that knows everything about everything. You got to know everything about marketing strategy and leadership. Yeah. But you don't have to know everything about the latest updates to iOS and how that changes cookies. You don't have to know that detail. You don't have to know the detail of what's working right now to win the top position in SEO as far as title tags are concerned. You don't. You don't, you don't have to know what eat means for the SEO family out there. Like You don't have to know that stuff. You can know it. Maybe you're a nerd and you dig it. But you don't have to. You got to know strategy and leadership. That's what companies are looking for right now more than ever, with more noise in the market than ever before, with more competition than ever before. So huge opportunity um, if you're a, a marketer and you want to become a fractional CMO. If you'd like to see if we can help you uh, build your practice as a fractional CMO, we'd love to chat. Just book a call with my team, cmox.co forward slash call. We'll book a time to chat. You'll jam with my team, be able to ask them a couple questions. We'll see if we can help you. And then we'll schedule another call and get deeper. And you can ask any questions you want about what we're up to and the results and all that kind of stuff. And we're here to see if we can actually help you. And if we can, we'd love to help you win clients and, and scale your business. You know, what we're doing here is helping marketers become fractional CMOs, high paid in-demand fractional CMOs. 
charging $3,000, $5,000, $10,000, $15,000 a month or more per client with multiple clients. This means you're making somewhere, you know, whatever you want to make on the low end. And on the high end, you know, you're making up to a half million dollars a year, maybe more. So this opportunity is available uh, to the marketer who's committed to becoming a fractional CMO and delegating everything except leadership and solving bigger problems. So we're here for you if you'd like to chat. Go to cmox.co slash call. All right, talk to you soon. Take care. Thank you for joining us for today's show. For more information and episodes, visit our site at fractionalcmoshow.com. Go ahead and punch that like and subscribe button on your favorite podcast app. It means a lot, at least to my mom. 